so in today's video we're going to find out if eBay protects sellers as much as they promise. Let's get into the intro. Let's find out if they're still offering the seller protection that they say they are. Hello. Hi, good afternoon. This is eBay. My name is Mark. I know your first and last name, please. Uh, yeah, it's uh, Mr. Daniel Peniel. All right, thank you, Mr. Daniel Peniel, for that information. So, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Yourself? Uh, yes, Daniel. I am good. Thank you for asking. So, how can I help you for today, uh, Daniel? Oh, hi there. So, I've had a return come in. Um, the buyer uh, messaged me yesterday and said that he tried to use the item now it was a uh, it was a blu-ray uh, 4k ultra hd upscaling blu-ray player uh, he said to me he tried a ultra hd uh, dvd on it and it didn't work um he tried updating the firmware and it still didn't work i explained to him that he, what he bought was an upscaling to 4k ultra hd blu-ray player and not a uh, a 4k ultra hd blu-ray player there's a difference one just upscales a blu-ray one plays 4k um films and stuff so he he wasn't happy so i said to him um you he could open up a return return it and get a refund which is fine um he's opened up the return now he's opened up the return under doesn't match description or photos and in his comments he's put description is deceptive I bought it thinking an Ultra HD Blu-ray player. When I tried it, it turned out to just upscale normal Blu-ray discs. Now, my list in any everywhere states it's a 4K Ultra HD upscaling Blu-ray player. It doesn't state that it just plays 4K um, HD films. I even explained to him in a message yesterday that um, what he had bought was wrong. It wasn't because of my um, advert was listed wrong. Yet yeah, he's opened it up claiming the, the uh, return doesn't match the description or photos so that he can get a free return. And I'd like to know if um, there's anything that you can do about that because I'm a top rated seller. Um, yeah, so thank you for that information. So looking at the record, uh, Daniel, um, the member contradicts the listing itself. So it says that this is for a 4K Ultra Blu-ray this even in the item title itself it says that this is a 4K Ultra HD upscaling Blu-ray. Yeah. So I believe he didn't read the uh, description. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. to be honest with you, Daniel, um, regarding for a transaction that was been open yesterday, um, the, uh, in our system we need to validate and investigate the transaction within three days period. And after that, that's the time that eBay were gonna step in to help you with this case. So as of the moment, sir, let's, uh, uh, you know, um, wait up until three uh, days before uh, eBay step in to help you with this uh, case. So the case was opened on 1st of March, so 2nd, 3rd, 4th, so by 4 of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 4th of March, and that's the time that you can ask, you know, to let eBay step in on this uh, case. Okay, I mean, I, I'm quite happy to accept the return. I haven't got a problem with him um, sending the return. If he's bought something that is not for his needs, then that's fine. He can return it. What I have an issue with is he's put the... To get a free return, he's lied and said that it doesn't match the description or photos. And then in the comments, he's basically contradicted that by saying he bought it thinking it was something he what it wasn't. And nowhere in my listing is it falsely being sold as something that it's not. It says in the description, it says in the title, it even shows in the picture um, on the front of the player that it says upscaling. So what he's done is not read everything correctly which happens yeah, i understand that happens right. you know but i have a, a free returns if the items are faulty but if it's a change of mind which basically what this is because he's not bothered to read the title correctly i don't yeah, feel like right. i i don't feel like i should be having to pay to have the return come in yes uh definitely so uh, actually sir based on your concern so that's why the main reason we will need to investigate and validate the transaction because um, when it comes to opening a claim and 
you're by putting a reason for not as described. We will not gonna uh, base on what the reason of the barrier put in the system. We will need to check also what is the conversation that you had yeah. on this transaction. So once we see the you know contradicts um complaint on this uh, listing, and that's the time, sir, that eBay will gonna back you up for this one. So as of the moment, uh, Mr. Peñal, what we need to do because even if I will gonna force you to connect over to one of my resolution center uh mr peña they will gonna give you an exact um you know um answer that we need to you know um um you know uh, wait up until the three uh days period to investigate and validate this um case okay so shall i give you guys a call back on the fourth and uh see what you think that's correct that's correct, sir. And what I'm going to do is I will gonna also put a proper documentation that the member will gonna call on fourth of March and uh, help him to um, let EB uh, step in on this case. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you for your help today. You're welcome, uh, Daniel. It's my pleasure to help you. And I'm so sorry for the inconvenience, but uh, let's see uh, what the next move on the fourth of March. Okay. Okay. To let EB step in on this case. All right. Thank okay. You. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, so we're going to leave the video here, and there will be a part two on the 4th, if I remember. Um, I'll give eBay a call back, and we'll find out if they will give me seller protection, because I have documentation showing that the person bought the item, thinking it was something that it wasn't. Not the fact that it didn't match the description of the photos, because the description and the photos all match correctly and I'll stick them up on the screen now and you tell me if I missold that thanks for watching this little quick video um, I'm possibly going to do a couple of charity shops tomorrow I'll see how the weather is I was gonna go today but after I dropped a little off school and it was chucking it down I didn't really fancy walking around the town so um, I might go tomorrow if the weather's a little bit better there would possibly be a boot sale video um, at the weekend if not early next week uh, please subscribe to the channel down below I'm going to start uploading again I know I keep saying this every few months I keep saying I'm going to start uploading a bit more and then I, I stop uploading because I do something else or other so I appreciate everyone that sticks around and watches me and enjoys watching what I do um, if you enjoy what I do, uh, let me know down in the comments down below. Um, let me know down below what you think eBay are going to say on the 4th. Whether you think they're going to agree that the buyer should be paying the return or whether they decide that there's not enough evidence to suggest that the buyer is putting a false claim and I end up paying the return. Now, ultimately, I don't really care too much about the return money. You know, it's... I think it's like three pounds seventy plus fat. So it works about, about about five quid. It's a it's a bit it's insignificant amount, but it's the principle of the matter. You know, eBay blase about seller protection. This seller protection that, or we're doing more to protect the sellers. Nothing. And, and so far, I just I don't ever see any evidence of it. I had a return come in the other day. A pair of football boots that I sold that were in ropey condition. I sold them in ropey condition. The person then opened up a return saying that they didn't match the description and they turned up in more of a ropey condition than when I sent them. When I contacted eBay, they basically said that I could part refund them if the buyer wasn't happy, then eBay would step in and then I'd get a mark against my account. So no seller protection there from what I can gather. But anyway, I'll stop rambling on. Um, don't forget to like the video. Um, Click the bell and then you'll be notified when I next upload, especially if you want to see part two of the video. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.